What's up, everybody? Welcome back to There's That Tarot. And I am here to do the weekend reading. Y'all, if anybody reaches out to, to you in the comments with the WhatsApp number or any solicitation for a reading, anything like that, it's not me. Okay? Avoid the scammers. Avoid being played. You heard it straight from me. The only way to get in touch with me is uh, my email is in the description box. There's that tarot at gmail.com. I know y'all know about the scammers and all of that, so I don't think there's too much more we have to say about that. Okay, so we're going to do the weekend reading. We're going to start with Aries. Let's get a song for you guys. A lot of y'all going to be out this weekend. I'm getting like cherry blossom trees. I'm getting that you dodged a bullet. Ooh, you got out of the way, and I feel like you guys are going to have a really good weekend. Let's see who has something to say to you this weekend, okay? And what do they want to say? Hmm. Somebody wants to let you know that they're in a much better headspace now. So you two could have fell out at one point. There's somebody you know already. Let's see what else fell out here. Let's say we started at 10. Let me get it together, Aries. We started at what, 45? <clears throat> You're the only person that I want. I wish things could be different. I know that I messed everything up, but I am better now. Who is this, Aries? Who is this person? King of Wands in the reverse, Devil in the reverse. So this could have been an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Somebody who... They either waited too late to take action. They didn't take action at all. They weren't the... The lonely type, they weren't the faithful type, okay? A lot of hesitation on their end. There was something that happened, and it was stupid. It was something that was, like, unnecessary or, like, you didn't expect this from this person, or maybe you did. What's the fool? Okay. It could have involved another person. This also could have been somebody that you worked with. But you felt like some, if, if this is looking like somebody who put you in a third party situation, let's just say that, okay? And tried to act like they, they were very secretive about it. I feel like several people end up getting hurt in this situation. It's a tower. And I feel like you ended that shit, Aries. <laughs> You just put, I feel like you put your focus somewhere else. I feel like you transmuted the energy. You just let go, of, you dropped out of the competition. A lot of you are dealing with a Leo here. Mm -hmm. I honestly, Aries, I feel like you had another option in your damn self, okay? But this person definitely had another option other than you. The sun card is here now. Leo energy again. But I don't know if they're interested in that person. They want to come talk to you again. What's the devil? Mm -hmm. I feel like as soon as you got over it, it was like now they want something a little more structured with you. Now they want to heal things with you. King of Wands. Queen of Wands. King of Wands in the reverse to the Queen of Wands. What's the mutual energy there? There's still hope here. I could be an Aquarius that you were dealing with. But one of you, this may be you. You may see that there was too much betrayal here to move forward with this situation. You might be looking at this as an, as an ending lesson learned. You know, it's like... It was too many things. I care about you. But I'm doing pretty good on my own, you know. So you may decide to go with 
the clarity that you have now. You know what I mean? I think you're feeling good. I think you are in a I think you're in a better headspace too since this whole thing ended. And I think you wanna stay that way, Aries. So Let's pull one more card for you, and then we're going to move on to Taurus. I don't blame you, Aries. It's like, don't let me find my own happiness, honey. You deemed it as unrequited love. There was not enough chemistry or attraction to keep it going. You know how you see a person again, and you're like, damn, I'm not even... <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not even as attracted to this situation as I once was. Or what was I tripping about? You know, that kind of feeling. Mm-hmm. Have a good weekend, Aries. We're going to move on to Taurus. Mm, that's so crazy. So many synchronicities in that reading. I have no idea. I hope y'all picking up on the same thing. Taurus. What do you believe can happen for you, Taurus? It's up to you. You receive what you believe you, 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 you deserve what you believe you deserve, Taurus. I feel that you need to hear that. It's up to you. What's going on, Taurus? One may never know, huh, Taurus? <laughs> Let me pull one more card for you. Somebody's been dreaming about you. Even though they don't show it. They hate the way that things went between the two of you. They feel a lot more for you than they, they let on. But one may never know, huh, Taurus? Like, you, maybe you would never know how this person truly feels about you because they're not telling you. But they're dreaming about you. Who is this person for Taurus? Strength in the reverse. Could be a Leo in your life. Somebody's not feeling good enough, so it's like they kind of keep their they keep their head to the ground when it comes to you. I feel like there's something that they want to say to you, but they're they're undecided, so it's kind of keeping them stuck. Could be a um, Cancer. Yeah, Scorpio's energy here too. Scorpio, Cancer, Leo. It's like this person would rather just kind of like take the L than to start this with you again. What's the hesitation about? Why are they guarded against you, Taurus? There's something that may have turned this person off. We got Aries energy here. Okay, there was some heartbreak. They, they fear getting their heart broken by you again, Taurus. I think it kind of haunts them. You got a lot of Aries cards here. Okay. Queen of Wands. No, 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 no. That's the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so this person, all right, that changes the story. I'm the Queen of Pentacles. You do have two Aries cards here. Now you got another one. This person may be very much focused on themselves. And I feel like a part of that is, you know, necessary. We're adults focus on their business, their job, whatever, their stability, their health. Um, but I also feel like it's a protection mechanism. Okay. Because it's a place that they don't feel in control. in front of reverse. Or perhaps there there's anxiety because they don't feel like there was... Um, Somebody didn't take accountability here. Or maybe they're not taking accountability. I don't know. It's something about a lack of control which makes them feel as though there's no hope for this situation or there's no possibility. There's like a blockage here for them. I think they're still trying to get over some pain here. They could have had another person in their life as well that caused some pain. That kind of made them look at a situation. Or they, why is the King of Wands here? <laughs> you can be very attractive, Taurus. Okay, and they may think some of you have fire in your chart too. 
they may think that you are not they're afraid to get their heart broken by you okay that's that's exactly what i'm seeing here they're kind of looking at you like maybe you still want to play the field a little bit let's see in case So I think they are just going to take some time to work on themselves, to rest, to work on whatever insecurities and whatever popped up between the two of you in the past. I think they're working on trying to heal themselves from that because it's caused a lot of anxiety for them. So if you two kind of just got back in touch with each other, um, they don't want any confusion this time around. I'm seeing that I'm seeing that they want to go about this in a different way. They do feel guarded. They are haunted by something that happened in the past between you two. So it's it's like I don't trust that this can go somewhere right now because I still feel like I was done wrong, but I also still have so much love for you at the same time. So it may move a little slow this weekend, Taurus, but I do see that this person wants to reconnect with you. But maybe you two just need to take your time with each other. It's still a little tender. It's still a little tender. So, let's see. I get that. I get that. There could be um there could be long-term potential between you two though, Taurus. I'm seeing long-term potential. Or well, this situation could have involved marriage. One of you could have been married. But there's still a lot of passion here. Allow that to shine. Somebody hasn't freed themselves from something that happened from the past between you two. The role can be reversed as well, so take it how it resonates. But there's something here, Taurus. So, y'all yeah, tell me in the comments. We're going to move on to Gemini. song for Gemini. I feel like it's not all coming into focus for you right now, Gemini. It's still a little bit far out. Something is, something hasn't come into focus. It's, it's not clear. What's going on with Gemini? There could be someone in your life. Y'all listen to a lot of music together. I think they may communicate with you through song lyrics. So there's something musical about the connection here. There's somebody who buries themselves in work in order to forget about you. Or they may be doing that this weekend because they don't know if they can meet your expectations, Gemini. Um, I want more card for Gemini. They don't, they're not very expressive or transparent with their emotions, but they do, they're very disappointed at how things went between the two of you. This is sounding very similar to, was it Aries or Taurus? Who is this person in Gemini's life? Seems like there's something that's like far out. This could have been somebody that you decided to walk away from. There was a lot of good here, but it looked like there was a lot of confusion too. There was a lot of secrets. There was a lot of things that was left unsaid here. Somebody was. I mean, this may have been a oh, this may have been a pretty boy that you all were dealing with. Very smooth. Okay, smooth operator. Okay, they had options. I mean, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius is given Leo. This is somebody that um, I think he just stopped fighting for it because there was a lot of manipulation. You you were wondering how how can I make this work? It was too much. It was. I think it was too many things that happened here in this relationship for you to ignore, for you to keep carrying. It's like I can't even see where we're going anymore. So I feel like you have decided to. Um, this is someone that you've you're trying to protect yourself from. You had a crossroads with this person, though. 
There's definitely attraction here. There's definitely love here. What's the higher thing? But in terms of commitment. That's not happening here. And I feel like this was um this was a cause of a lot of disappointment. It's like once you really saw that this person wasn't going to commit to you and they were going to continue juggling and looking for the next fix. Strength card here, Leo energy. Again, and then they would get back in contact with you once that thing didn't work out. And then they wanted to put work in. It's like once you saw that, and in, even when they came back, it still felt like a secret. You know, once you saw all of that, I feel like it allowed you to come out of this place of almost sulking or feeling just at any whatever emotion, whatever you would, if you weren't entertaining other options or taking other offers, or if you were in a down space about this situation, I feel like you realizing that this person really isn't going to commit to me. I feel like it helped you to come to a decision to go ahead and shift your focus away from this person because they are not you you would be carrying this relationship on your shoulders I feel like that's what you realized is all of this would be on me like I would be in the relationship alone because this person is always looking for the next fix you know they're reckless energy it's like you can't focus on one thing so I'm going to drop out of the race. But they sorry, though. Sometimes we have to accept the person for where they are and accept that we cannot, I can't change the situation. <laughs> you know, I'm not qualified. I'm not uh, licensed to deal with situations like this. Sometimes we just got to go ahead and take the L, you know. Because it'll be a uh, much bigger L in the long run, you know. What else? Oh, the song that's playing right now is called You Know. And you know that. What else is here for Gemini? There may be someone new in your life. And you need to go ahead and go for that. Okay, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Or well, this person is going to be expressing their love. I don't feel like you're going to be in the same energy. If you need somebody to talk to, let your friends help you. Ask for support. Because I feel like the more that you're that you pull away, because I don't feel like this was. I was like, wait, express your love. This person is going to be expressing their love to you. They don't like the way things went okay but i don't feel like you're in that flirtatious mode and that's different for gemini because I mean, my gemini's i've had some of the best flirting from gemini's let your friends help you through this one gemini or if you if you're privileged enough to be able to go see somebody and talk to somebody about this do so. It doesn't make you crazy. It makes you like it makes you more responsible for yourself when you allow yourself to express those emotions in a safe place and not feel bad for being human and going through shit like everybody else. I think therapy is very necessary. So let's talk to somebody about this because I don't feel like you are in a space where you feeling like you want this person to express their love to you. And if you are, it's just still like a bitterness here because they hurt you have a good weekend Gemini cancer what's going on with cancer this weekend I think cancer is focused on them themselves and them <laughs> me myself and I the song I'm playing for you is called moi Oh, that's right. What's going on with cancer this weekend? I don't think you're worried about whether someone's intentions were good or bad or whatever. Because at the end of the day, 
you did what you did. And it made me feel how it made me feel. Regardless of what your intentions were, the outcome was this, right? So I can forgive you and I can let you go. It's okay. I feel like you are literally giving them that same energy. That's your weekend. <laughs> like, it's that same energy. And not in a nasty, petty, alright kind of way, but like a forgive and let go and bygones be bygones. Go and get the hell on you and your mama. Because don't be, don't, you know, this person is <laughs> Don't come over here telling me that you wish that that person that you left me for was me. Oh, I wish they were you and all that kind of stuff. I mean, this person is not being nice. Just be nice. They're trying to check your temperature. And they try to see if they can come back and, and ruin another few months of your life. Now, let me see what's really going on, kids. <laughs> but that's the energy that it gave me. It's like, there's somebody that you're like... Very, it's like you're cordial, but I don't even want to say it's nice, nasty. I just want to say it's like, oh, it's good to see you too. Yeah, tell everybody I said, hey, all right now, take care. But y'all used to be tight, <laughs> like, y'all used to be really tight, and so it's a problem. You, but you're over it. Could have been a Capricorn that you were dealing with. You don't feel the connection the way that you used to. So it's very matter of fact at this point. Who is this person for cancer? Could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Somebody who is not very consistent with you. Somebody that you stopped chasing. Okay. If you were chasing them or any any progression towards them sending you energy, whatever, you stopped. Could be a fixed sign, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius. This person wants to return because they feel the two of cups with you. And they don't like not getting your attention. This is definitely an ex. Could be a Scorpio. This is somebody who was taking too long to make a decision about you though why are they back i'm telling y'all be careful it's strength card in the reverse um this is somebody who made you feel really insecure leo energy here star energy here it was a fix sign i think you realize you know what i'm good though i'm good like i'm okay now you know i was walking down the street today and I was triggered um, from a memory that I had of my past um, situation. And um, I saw him walking with another woman and I was like, Ugh. you know, I, I kind of had that feeling. And he recently tried to, you know, reach out and all of that. And I was like, I remember stopping and I said, ooh, I don't like... I don't like the way that this memory is making me feel. I don't like the um, emotions that are um, surfacing right now. You know, so I feel like if you give yourself a moment to kind of pause, if you feeling like the little urge to reach out, or I don't feel like you are. I really don't. I feel like you are focused on yourself, but allow yourself to feel those little feelings that come up and say, "That's not really resonating with me." I'm a Go walk on the other street. So I don't, you know, and it doesn't mean, it's like you take responsibility at that point. This person hurt me. And as I remember the things that happened, I don't think that's something I want to revisit. I hope that makes sense for you guys. But you're not waiting on this person anymore. You lost hope in this person. You're not going to come over here and make me feel insecure again. They do want to talk to you again because they see that you're being celebrated or they see that you're happy without them. But they're still cold, you know? This person definitely wants to, um, maybe they want to come tell you the truth, do the right thing because they're still holding on to you. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. 
because you were so quiet with them. You just walked away like you let it go. They Oh, they've been grieving over you. They don't like the fact that you've been so quiet. They want to know how you feel because you've been so focused on yourself. <laughs> you've had your own responsibilities, though. I feel like you've taken on some new responsibilities as well. You, you got yourself unstuck from this situation once you saw that there was no more possibility here. This was unrequited love, and so you just... You just moved on. Okay. Very logical, but very much self-love here with the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Y'all like this new deck? What is this deck called? Prism, Prisma Visions Tarot. I was just scrolling through Amazon and I was like, $10? Let me see. Let me see. I really like it though. I like this little deck. It's small. So, I put, uh, I'm trying to remember to put the link in the description box for that. Any other messages for cancer? Oh. I'm not sure if that came out in the reverse or not. This first, the love was not unrequited, okay? It's definitely mutual. But there was, it's like, this person half-assed with the effort. So it's like, I just want to take back control over my life. I don't want to, I don't want to reconnect. I don't want to, I don't want to remember. You know, just let, let me end on a happy note and let me just, okay, bye. Right? It's, it's that kind of feeling. I don't want to remember how you made me feel. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. Move on. I say go. Leo, Leo, freeway, many of you would just prefer a freer way of living. What's going on with Leo this weekend? Someone who is starting to understand the connection between the two of you. Hmm. So someone wants to say, I knew exactly what I was doing. Someone wasn't being nice just to be nice. I feel like someone didn't understand that Someone didn't know how they were going to feel about someone. Could have been a miss, like I misjudged you or something like that. Now I'm starting to understand what either this connection means to me or where this connection should have been placed in my life. You know how you, a person comes into your life and you may put them over here, but they belonged over here or vice versa, however that goes, right? And it's like, now you look at me differently, and I hate myself for that. So I feel like somebody might have slept on somebody or something like that. That's that's what that sounds like. Let's see what's going on for you, Leo. Now they reminiscing. Okay. What's going on? Yes, someone judged the other person wrong, and I think that person might have abandoned the ship. Okay. In hopes that there has to be something better than this because this was hmm. I can't even... I feel like somebody shut the door on the other person because they somebody was not opening up or they they were being very difficult when it came to emotions I think they would kind of take flight like running and coming back, running and coming back. When things started to feel too heavy and it was like repetitive. You know how you start to uh, catch feelings for somebody? And the moment you start open up, opening up your run 
or they run. And here they are again with the Ace of Cups. <laughs> I still love you. I still feel this attachment with you. They, they definitely is. I feel like they're still sexually attracted to you. Could be a Gemini. But somebody's afraid to make the wrong decision here. There could be a Gemini who's lost their, their patience as well with this situation. Because it, it's looking like a third party situation. And somebody's kind of sitting like a bump on a log. Hmm. It could be someone who has lost their patience, right? Because they feel like they were put in a third party situation. And whoever... The two people who ended up together... One of you wasn't really interested in that choice. Does that make sense? So let's say if it was you and you ended up with a Gemini or whatever, right? I don't know if that's the one you were really interested in. It seems like somebody was kind of sulking silently here. It's like I got these options, but I there's something or someone else that's on my mind and I'm still thinking about that ending. If, uh, really wanting to restart it again but me and this person haven't been talking this could be an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius there was deception between the two of you perhaps um, whoever that person is gets a lot of attention for the, whatever they do for work somebody's highly celebrated either for their looks or for whatever And um, this is somebody that perhaps you do want to work things out with or wants to work things out with you. So there's two situations here. Somebody's mad and somebody's still thinking about somebody else. And I think whoever's mad could feel the fact that I didn't have your attention. And I think you may decide, you know what? I probably need to just go back to being single. Because I, I still have some things that I need to resolve with someone or with something here. And the fact of the matter is, I'm not really feeling in control. I'm not really feeling as centered as I should. So I don't need to focus on being with anybody. Is what that looks like. And then the song that's playing right now is called Lost. So, you know, if you don't don't move until you know, Leo. You don't have to make no decisions right now. Take your time. See how you feeling this weekend. <laughs> that's what we always say. I just let me see how I'm feeling. When somebody asks me something, let me see how I'm feeling about it. I don't know. <laughs> Because if you ask me to do something at 5 o'clock and it's 12 o'clock, I don't know what's going to happen between now and, 12, and 5 o'clock. I don't know. Let me see how I'm feeling. We have very soon clearly decided what it is that you want so that it comes to you now, but it's in the reverse. Take your time, Leo. Ain't, don't let nobody rush you, honey. That's a power. That's a power. That's that's a, um, I was watching this video, uh, The Secret. It ain't The Secret. It's like five ways to be powerful or something like that. And making people wait is one of them. And you're a Leo, honey. <laughs> Put your crown on. Make them I mean, take. it's not about making people wait. It's not about being manipulative or anything like that. But if you notice, like, public speakers, when they get on stage and they take those silent, those, those long pauses, and it grabs people's attention. You know what I mean? When people, that pause. So... I say just take your time, okay? Remain in the position of power. Because it feels better to be on that side anyway than to be forced into a decision you weren't ready to make. Whew, I finally got that message out. Let's move on to Virgo. Okay. What's going on with you, Virgo? Mm. Many of you could be getting outside. Many of you enjoy the sunset more than, like, the daytime. 
or that could be something specific about the sunset this weekend. What's going on, Virgo? Something about the color green. Mm. Somebody may want to tell you, I'm not ready to let you go. I tried to replace you. Didn't work out that well for me. What else is here for Virgo? Right on. We have, do not have sex with this person. Same game, same prize. It could be that this person is like, I'm not here to have sex. Okay, so this clearly could have been a sexual connection between you two, but um, something is still missing here. Somebody's trying to figure out what's missing between you two. It's like, I tried to replace you, but everything wasn't quite where it needed to be in this particular relationship either. So it's like, whatever somebody's looking for, it's not in that person. So it's like, if we repeat this cycle again, then we're going to get the same thing because somebody's still trying to fill a void with the person. Okay. Let's see what's going on, Virgo. Who is this for Virgo? Somebody, things started moving. Either things got out of control between you two because some there was there was a battle between the two of you. Somebody may have still been holding on to something from the past. I see secrets here. I see betrayal. Okay, y'all don't have the prettiest um, history. It's going to be a Taurus or a Libra. Things were moving slow because somebody just didn't want to commit here. It could have been a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or a Sag. So it was like a failure to launch by the Ten of Swords. And I feel like whatever the betrayal was, it kept things from starting or it turned someone off from this. It's like it, it created a lot of insecurities, which I feel led to an ending here. It's too much, too many question marks. Five swords. So it's like, I feel like this is somebody who lost trust. This could be you or them. Oh, we got the King of Pentacles. Right? It's like, I don't trust the connection between you and I. Even though I feel like you could be a very stable and reliable partner, you're somebody I can lean on, but it's something about the, the attention that you get or the attention that you give that I don't trust. Or I don't, I don't trust that, I don't trust your response to the attention that you get or something like that. There's a fear of commitment here. There's a fear surrounding commitment here. It's like, you don't seem interested in it, so I'm just going to let this go. But then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So maybe somebody decides to move on to a new opportunity here. Because something was turned down. It seems. This could have been an offer to live together with the Empress. So after a period of you two not talking, it seems like there was a period where you two were not talking. Some healing took place. I feel like you, you glowed up. I don't even know. Is this all about your person? I feel like you found happiness within yourself, Virgo. And somebody's still dealing with 
Somebody's still stuck back there on what had happened. And I feel like as all of that is going on with them on the other side, you're elevating. And that's what this is looking like to me. And there's someone else who's movement is kind of like blocked but I feel like you're receiving justice on your end you know that there's something better for you you've come to a truth within you that you need to stop holding on to whatever this is You know that you, if you put any more work into this, it, it's only going to keep you stuck. Because there's still, like I said, there's still something missing. And I feel like someone is going to realize that the only way that I'm going to feel this is to level up within myself. Something about easy. There's an easier way. There's something about this was not easy. I don't know, bro. That's a very confusing message for me. Y'all tell me in the comments. Many of you decided, I'm just going to love on myself right now. I feel like there was two relationships. There's somebody who's not ready to let you go. But something was also missing within that relationship. I think that Empress card was there just to kind of let you know that the love that you're searching for is already inside of you. So we have love yourself first. Your self-respect is what makes you more romantically attractive. Allow that passion to shine through you. Because I feel like this past situation that you were dealing with, there was a lot of differences between you two. There was a, You two had a lot in common as well, but there was still something missing. It can't all function on passion. It can't all function on mutual interest. It can't function on, you know, it can't function on these things alone. There was something that was still missing for someone. It is safe for you to love, though, Virgo. So go ahead and open up your heart. To something new. That's what this is looking like. You know how you level up after a breakup and you realize, how, why was I attracted to this person in the first place? Somebody may not be able to be ready to let you go, but I think you are well aware now that if I enter into this again, I'm going to get the same thing. I'm going to move on, Virgo. <laughs> So, Libra, what's going on with Libra? Something may be almost over. Take out a resume. I'm not sure how what that means for you, but it's almost over. Somebody may need to hear that. There's someone who has extreme trust issues, and that's why they keep running away from you. Even though they don't show it, they are sorry for the way things went between you two. I'm getting that um, cowardly energy from this person. It's like they just would rather wait for a sign from you. They could be mad at you, and they could have projected a lot of whatever this is onto you. Like the blame game and all of that. Who is this person for Libra? Could be an Aquarius. I 
I feel like this is someone who either you healed from this situation. This could have been someone that you felt abandoned by. And as time has gone by, you have found a easier place in your emotions like you you you've become more emotionally independent from this person in a happier place but i feel like this is someone who still has a strong attachment to you but their energy is guarded but they do want to communicate with you i don't know if what they have to say it could be like a rushed thing wow There's definitely something that is not complete between the two of you. There's something that you two share. And I don't feel like there's any trust between the two of you. I think that you have to continue to deal with each other uh, due to family, but there's no passion here. This could be that you're the mother of someone's children. Or this could be the mother of your children. But someone's still holding on to a betrayal from the past. Feeling like there was secrets and emotional manipulations. A lot of things that were left unsaid here. There's still bitterness around this. Things could have ended between you two. Due to the insecurities that was caused by this um, betrayal. The female energy could feel like there's no hope left. In this situation, it's the magician. But there's a lot of grief around this. This could be um, a Taurus that you were dealing with or a Scorpio. We got Gemini. We have a lot of major arcana on the table, okay? It's like something that just won't end. It feels like a lot of money goes into this, a lot of time wasted. Still not really clear. The communicate the communication is strained because there's a um, such a power struggle between the two of you. This could be a custody battle. There's somebody who wants to win in this situation. Why is the nine of swords here? There's someone who lacks patience in this situation. It's a lot of instability. I feel like every time you two get back in touch, it's another fight, it's another grievance. It's very bitter energy. Ugh. Yeah. That's why it's that I'm mad at you. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Oof. I'm sorry, Libra. This is something that you have to deal with. Let me pull advice for y'all. It's heavy. I'm going to stay on it too long. What's advice for Libra this weekend? Be the Empress. <laughs> Keep yourself balanced, stay quiet, stay emotionally centered. Empress card, high priestess, nine of chalices, nine of cups, which just talks about emotional independence, keeping yourself grounded this weekend. No matter what's going on, honey, it's none of your business this weekend. Because you don't trust this person anyway. Trust is in the reverse. Stay to yourself this weekend, Libra, because that energy is nasty. If, it, if at all possible. And if you do have to communicate with this person, just make sure it's in a very sincere manner. You kind of just stick to the point and then get out of there, you know. 
Scorpio. What's going on with Scorpio this weekend? Ooh, somebody knew exactly what they was doing, Scorpio. And they know that they don't have any excuse for the way that they treated you. I know I made a huge mistake. Oof, what is this, Scorpio? And now they are stuck having to wait for a sign from you, Scorpio. Ooh, who did it? Who is this person for Scorpio? Be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, or somebody you just have not been talking to. Oof. Is this somebody you went cold on, Scorpio? I feel like you just stopped putting the work in with this person. It could be um, a Taurus, a Libra. It could be the mother of your children. We got Leo's energy here. There's something surrounding a, a, a woman here. The things are in the dark a little bit. Leo energy strong here. This could be somebody you, okay, Queen of Wands in the reverse. You feel, you know, I feel like somebody got some secrets, Scorpio. And I feel like you're in a place now where you can kind of take it or leave it. I feel like you may be walking away from a fire sign this weekend. And they, they're, they're well aware of why. But I see you actively not feeling the same. I don't know why I say it actively, but it's something about your actions that are letting this person know you do not feel the same anymore. Now we got the emperor and the empress, so this could definitely be, um, it could have been a commitment, mother and father type of situation here, but I do see you kind of like putting on your cold face this weekend and deciding not to commit to something here that you felt trapped in for a while, like... I feel like you're finally going to feel like you can move on from something that you've been weighing out for quite a long time because there's such a strong connection between the two of you. You wanted to overcome whatever happened between the two of you. But there was a lack of action, a lack of commitment here. Things just kind of come to a stop. Whatever was revealed during the course of this relationship, um caused a lot of uh, defensive energy, a lot of I don't trust you, a lot of indecision here, King of Swords. I think you're just ready to feel clear again about everything. There was a quick action or a quick communication here. Something made somebody else feel small. It could have been an argument about, I feel like I'm not getting enough in this relationship. And something was said here that kind of killed somebody's motivation. Broke the trust here. Caused a lot of distance. Somebody may have started to look at a, another more stable opportunity. Exploring some other options here. Yeah, it's got to be something better than this. Somebody started looking at, I need to move on. Other possibilities. More stable possibilities. Because something about this family dynamic is very heartbreaking. Guards are up. Hmm. I feel like a lot of you are dealing with a fixed sign. A lot of this argument could have been because of a third party situation. A lot of love here. 
somebody knows that, like I said, I know that I made a big mistake, but I did know what I was doing, okay? You don't just fall in somebody else's what you call it, okay? But now they're just kind of waiting for a sign. What else is here for Scorpio? The passion was killed here. We got unrequited love. There's not enough chemistry or attraction to keep this relationship going. I'm sorry, Scorpio. Or maybe I'm not. Maybe this is a good thing. Maybe this is good news for a lot of you. Sagittarius. Let's see. What's going on with Sagittarius? Suck with this weekend. Oh, somebody's afraid to lose you, Sag. Why are they afraid to lose you? I just got caught up in the moment. It's not what you think. <laughs> I wish things could be different. But I feel like at this point, you're like really sure of yourself. Because somebody's only sorry that they got caught. Okay, Sag. We've been having like a thing in y'all's readings. Like, you know, I, I, I'm normally so ready for my Sagittarius reading, but I feel like somebody trying y'all right now. Who is this person that's afraid to lose Sagittarius? Could be a Pisces or a Cancer. Whoever this is wants to reveal their emotions to you. And I feel like you ain't chasing nothing. I feel like you're allowing things to flow in and out of your life without a whole lot of resistance. You're not chasing anything right now. I feel like you're feeling good on your own. You're feeling good within your home. You're probably not looking to be with anybody right now. I think you're moving forward on your passions and your truths right now. You know, it gives me that you, you're ready to take a chance on yourself. Ooh, the energy just lightened up. I want to be able to let my guard down, so I'm not going to act foolishly or move move on things unless I know it gives me a sense of justice or balance. If I don't feel confident about it, I don't, I'm don't. i not going to do it, you know, especially if it's not, if you're not celebrating me, you know what I mean? Page of I'm not going to be moved by any small offers. I'm not going to wait on anything small, you know. I feel like you are... I'm not going to wait on anybody who can't make a decision on me or who's afraid to change or evolve. I'm over it. And I'm not going to hide away. Dim my light. If you don't want to commit, I'll just walk away. You know what I mean? It's like very matter of fact, very sure of yourself. I love it. And I will chomp you down if I need to. But that's not really what I want to do. I'd rather just stop putting my energy over there and put it where it belongs with me. Focused on the things that I need to do for myself, for my family. I'd rather just go meditate than to, you know what I'm saying? Let me just end this amicably with you because I could bite your head off but I'm not trying to do that just just let me go before things get out of control I think that's where you at this weekend I'm, a, I'm okay with it it's like move before you get your feelings hurt don't explain it you know what you did <laughs> that's what it's giving sad y'all tell me in the comments what else is here for Sagittarius yeah, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I don't know if you were dealing, if you had children with this person. I feel like you were dealing with the child or somebody who has childlike behavior. Emotional immaturity, whatever you want to call it. But um, there just wasn't enough chemistry or attraction to keep things going after perhaps what you find out this weekend. But they are afraid to lose you. But I just feel like you're going to be like so queens, queen of swords with this person. Like, mm -mm. no, 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 no. <laughs> Who's next? Capricorn.
Capricorn. <laughs> What's going on, Capricorn? This weekend. I remember every detail of that day. There's someone who you, you don't like the way that they communicate with you. What is this for Capricorn? Okay, so there's somebody around you, Capricorn. They need a little more time to figure things out. Perhaps in their emotions for you. I feel like this is somebody... Um, they remember the day they met you. They remember the good times that you share. But they don't communicate well with you. And I don't think you're okay with that. But I feel like it's, <laughs> there's, in some way, no one compares to you. I feel like you two, your energy flows together very nicely. But they know that perhaps you're upset about the way that they communicate. But they're not necessarily ready to let you go. And there's something about music between the two of you. But they think about letting this go. Somebody's thinking about it. Because, again, like I said, somebody needs more time to figure things out. So who is this person for Capricorn? Well, y'all not in a commitment together. It could be a um, cancer here. This could be somebody who's very withdrawn. Or who is just ending another relationship. And they, again, they need more time to figure things out. I feel like they drop the ball with communication a lot with you two. But they do have feelings for you. And they're not ready to let you go. I feel like they just they're, they just walked away from something else that kind of had a chain on them. A little bit, okay? Something else that didn't work out. Yeah, there was a love connection that they, they're letting go of something else. And they're okay with themselves now. They're getting to a point where they're okay within their own emotions. I feel like they were dealing with somebody who was like, really? Look. No swords, no verse. Or, I feel like this person knows how they feel about you. There's love that they have for you. But their mind hasn't decided. Like their heart knows, but their mind hasn't really caught up yet. But I do feel like they communicate feelings to you, but they're still a little guarded, a little blocked off. They just, they're not quite sure which way to go yet. Undecided, okay, is the name of the game here about commitment. Um, not. They don't know about how hmm. they question whether or not there's a possibility for the two of you, and that's why they're in and out or inconsistent with you. I also feel like there's something else that they are working on, possibly in within their home, or they may be working on their finances. <clears throat> Trying to broaden their horizons. They could be working on building a business as well. Yep. But they don't talk a whole lot about this. Because I don't want nobody messing up my manifestations. <laughs> but they, they, they don't talk. There's def Okay, this is a sexual connection. But they don't know how far it could go between the two of you. That's what this is looking like. Oh, fortune star. So you may have your eye on something else. But you're, you're, oh, it could be an X here that's looming around you. Okay. But you may feel like it's a waste of your time because this person abandoned you. You're still healing from this situation. I'm seeing that there's something new that you would like to start here.
It's somebody that you're wanting to let your guard down with. So there's an ex that's not ready to let you go. And there's somebody else. And the communication isn't that great. But I feel like both of y'all are healing from relationships. Why do I keep getting these rebound uh, love square situations with you, Capricorn? What y'all got going on? All right. I need to balance y'all selves this weekend. What else is here for Capricorn? Maybe do a dolo weekend so everybody can figure out what they want. Yeah, free yourself is in the reverse. You need to take back control over your own life. We have codependency here. Somebody's not paying attention to the red flags. Addition, addictions are affecting your romantic life. If you are not sober, you cannot think clearly. Okay, it's a thing. We got separation in the reverse. You may end up entertaining something. If you want to entertain something from the past, okay. But it doesn't seem like, I don't know. This may be like one of them honeymoon type of weekends for you. But be sure this isn't a codependent relationship i think you need there's a new person okay there's new love here for you make sober decisions this weekend in regards to love capricorn that is what i feel like the advice here is because there is new love in your life but there's a codependency in your past here and something about being under the influence can jade you know, it's like you, you don't see the red flags with that situation. Something about it is not lighthearted. Okay. And this person doesn't want to be separated from you anymore. But then we got new love and this could be the one. So sober deci decisions this weekend because there's an underlying deception. Okay. <clears throat> Let's move on to Aquarius. Come on, that little shuffle, Manny. I need to get some new cards, y'all. But I'm just going to use these till the wheels fall off. Aquarius. Ready? I'm about to have a lunch date, so I'm trying to get done with this reading, y'all. We almost here. Aquarius, what's going on with you this weekend? There's somebody who just wants to take their time. I feel like it's this time around. I feel like I'm in a, I'm in a better headspace this time around. Somebody may want to let you know you were wrong about them. It's not what you think. Okay. But you are allowed to be upset. I'm just doing what I have to do right now. So it doesn't feel very apologetic. If there was an apology that was being waited on, I don't know why I said that. But I'm in a much better headspace now. You were wrong. And this time, I, or maybe I'm taking my time now. Who is this person? Somebody you broke up with. It's like, we, we need to end this argument here. There was something that you weren't able to make work, or there was some kind of manipulation going on. Somebody just decided to stop stressing about it altogether and focus on getting themselves back in a stable place. Okay. I feel like there was a lot of distance created between you two after the breakup. You two could have uh, been living together. And moved out. What happened? There was definitely a lack of trust, which killed the passion between you two. This could have been an Aries that you were dealing with. We got Leo, Aries energy here. I feel like somebody went cold here. I'm saying for that. One of you had to take charge and end this because something was found out here. Somebody's selfish ways. Hey, 
every time you talk to this person again, it's like a trapped feeling or it brings up a thought. Well, it, it, you know how um, every time you talk to a person, it brings back a bad memory and you don't want to talk to them no more. You just want to get away from them again. It brings up like this disappointment here. You may have felt like somebody was very greedy in the past. So you stop waiting on this person. Just trying to get over the betrayal of it all. You didn't want to accept any offer of friendship or anything like that. That's what this looks like. But it looks like this person is trying to come back towards you. Their focus was off of you for a long time, but now it looks like they wanted it. Either because they had to work, but they still felt this strong connection with you, like a strong pull with you. And there is love here. But they're not saying anything about it. They're not giving any attention to the situation. Either that or you feel like they just never gave enough to this. Hmm. This looks like another situation where somebody couldn't decide whether or not or who they wanted to commit commit to or something like that. It just looks like another love triangle square hexagon. Somebody was left waiting here. Somebody decided I'm not interested in this situation anymore. Somebody just couldn't make a choice here. Somebody knew exactly what they were doing. And this time around, like I said, they want to take their time. I'm in a much better headspace now. It's not everything that you thought happened didn't quite happen the way that you thought it happened. But, but you are allowed to be upset. But I feel like in the back of your mind, you know. Because that was confusing. I'm just going to pull um, advice for you, Aquarius. There's something that you know. Okay. And I feel like it's because you're also in a better headspace now. I think what you know is that this was unrequited love. Yeah, you are allowed to be upset for whatever happened and take it slow and hold you hold your you're holding back a lot more now. Hmm. I feel like I am so off on this reading right now. I don't think this is something you want to revisit, though. You know how a person says, I know you're, you know, you're, um, I know what I did was wrong, or I know that, um, you know, you're allowed to be upset with me. It's like, you don't have to tell me what I'm allowed. I feel like somebody's like, you don't have to tell me what I'm allowed. I know how I need to feel right now or something like that. Uh, I feel like I should pull another story for y'all. This was like not satisfying at all. And I'm going to move on, Aquarius. Past life relationship. You two know each other, but there's like, it's not a flirty energy between you two anymore. It's very cold. Somebody, like I said, undecided, undecided, undecided. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. It was a trust issue here. There was just not a lot of trust in this situation. I'm not satisfied with it, but um, I will be releasing the Aquarius reading after this, so we'll see what comes up in there. We're going to move on to Pisces. Pisces. So 
What's going on, Pisces, this weekend? What's this? Many of you could be lining up with something that's going to connect you to your destiny this weekend. Okay? What's going on with Pisces? Somebody feels you leaving them behind. You feel like home to this person. I still remember all the good times that we shared. But I know I also didn't tell you everything. And if... <laughs> If I did, you probably would block me. <laughs> this person feels like you're connected to their destiny. This person is feeling the Ten of Pentacles with you. They want to drop whatever burdens happen between the two of you. They want you to <laughs> come home. There was a lot of... Um, I feel like the fights were about secrets. <laughs> The moon here. This is your energy. Many of you were dealing with a Leo. King of Wands in reverse. The sun was right here with the moon. This is um, Cancer Leo. Cancer Pisces Leo energy here, right? I feel like this is just something you just want to stop thinking about. There was so much confusion here. You feel like you couldn't let your guard down. Or maybe this is something that you gave up on because it was just a repetitive pattern of chaos between the two of you. Somebody had to take charge here. <laughs> I heard because it wasn't going to be them. <laughs> I just heard somebody say that like Thursday. Could have been a Gemini you were dealing with as well, but you knew that you would be headed down a darker path if you were to go back towards this energy. We got Aries here as well. So what is what is the secret? If I if you knew. You'd be totally turned off if you knew. Definitely a fire sign a lot of you are dealing with. Feminine energy. I think you would rather go, let go. It's like, you know what? Keep your secrets. What's the high priestess? I would rather you keep your secrets than keep reaching out to me. <laughs> Something like that. Like, I'm trying to do something over here. I'm trying to focus over here. I feel like you're turning down an offer this weekend. That's why I feel you leaving me behind. You know that whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, you can only do it by yourself. You can only do it in a certain space. You have to be alone. You have to be able to rest. Not to be holding on to something that's already in the past. Something that's, you know, it's, it's down the drain already. I'm not going back. You know how they say, um, don't go back and... I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say, Pisces. But you don't go back and try to fish your shit out of the toilet, do you? Or something like that. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. I think you're just ready to go through this new door of opportunity. This Ace of Pentacles, okay? I think that's what you're ready for. And you know, this Nine of Pentacles cross, I love it because there's so much around her. There's so much life and fertility and growth and abundance, but you can see she's there by herself. I think you know that this is a dolo journey. 
my dear Pisces any other messages for Pisces trust this situation involves or it calls for you to have faith pay attention trust yourself Pisces I mean you can put the rose colored glasses on and do a honeymoon this weekend a, re a, a reconciliation but the thing is there's still a lot of things that are not healed between the two of you and you're not ready to make a decision right now the signs are cautioning you okay there's a lack of forgiveness between the two of you do you want and you know I don't feel like you feel that optimistic about it anyway but there is passion you know not telling you what to do but there could be new love also and that person could be your soulmate. So don't let your ex mess that up <laughs> for you this weekend. Okay, Pisces? Y'all, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to leave it there. Please like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you or if you just enjoyed the video. Um, if you would like a personal reading, the information for that is in the description box. And if you would like to donate, please check the uh, comment box. My PayPal information is there. You can also hit the thanks button at the bottom of the video. I love you guys. Thanks so much for your support. And I'll see you in the next readings. Ciao.